Hello, everybody. Um, this, this, sorry, this is DFS Chan um, coming to you live here to talk about July 8th um, League of Legends DFS slate. Um, we're coming back from the two game LCK slate yesterday or this morning, and we did really well. Um, so hopefully we continue this hot streak um, into the, you know, into today's slate. Um, we have a four game slate here today, two games in the LPL, two games in LCK, just like the four, you know, typical four game slate. So yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in. LPL is it's between team WE versus uh, OMG. Um, one thing I would like to note here is um, team WE has been really, really bad, right? But then OMG has been solid. They've been a solid team overall. They've been up and down. Um, I think they they deserve this. I don't think actually. Let me rephrase. I don't think given the history, the match history, and everything, the split and the summer split. I understand why the odds are like this. Um, that OMG is given minus four seventy five um, over Team WE because Team WE has been just absolutely horrible as well. Um, I'll show you here um, the standings as to what I mean by that. You see Team WE is 0 and 5. So and they're 2 and 10 in games, 0 and 5 in series. So given that, where OMG, where is OMG? I said they're 3 and 4 and 9 and 10 games. So, I mean, OMG has been up and down. I think they they have been a better team, obviously, but... They've also shown where uh, they they can lose. Like they've shown some vulnerabilities, in my opinion, especially in the um, mid lane and the bottom lane, and the jungle. I mean, Beishang has been pretty good, solid jungler for his you know over over his career for Team WE. But um, Shanks has been okay. I mean, they these are serviceable LPL players here on Team WE, and I mean they are due for a win. Um, I really do think it matches well against OMG. Um, OMG just likes to fight, constantly skirmish. I do think OMG has been a better team, but OMG is the, the type of a team. What I'm trying to say is OMG is the type of a team that Team WE can beat because the way that OMG likes to play. And, you know, uh, it also um, opens themselves up for OMG to lose a lot of games like this, but also upset a lot of elite teams, in my opinion, for OMG. So their ceiling is high, but their floor is really low. I think anything can happen against OMG, and OMG can make things happen themselves as well by, you know, via their play style, aggressive play, play style. So I just think OMG should win this, but I wouldn't be surprised if Team WE wins here today. Um, get their first win. But just given how badly they've been playing Team WE, I mean, it's more likely that OMG wins still overall in the series, but I think this is the type of a team that Team WE has been looking for. So Team WE definitely is in um, GPP play, I think. And then OMG also, last thing I'll say about this matchup is that OMG likes to give up a lot of kills. Um, so I think just given that kill upside in the matchup, that is another reason to play Team WE in GPP, in my opinion. And I think they will go probably the lowest owned here today because they're the biggest underdog. But I can definitely see a path where Team WE can win as long as they do a decent job, you know, holding their lanes respectively, um, you know, throughout the map. All right, LNG versus JDG. This is the marquee matchup in China. Um, probably overshadowed by the marquee matchup that's going to happen in the LCK here today. Um, LNG versus JDG. LNG has been a solid team, but JDG has been even better. JDG has been six, uh, they're six and one, and they've won 13 games overall. LNG is uh, five and two in series and 11 wins in games. So yeah, I mean, L JDG was on a, uh, hot streak. They've won uh, four. Uh, they've won five in a row or six in a row. Yeah, six in a row, and then lost one against uh, Summit's FPX, I believe. Yeah, um, 
they played against FPX and then FPX, you know, lost the lost the first game and then <clears throat> won the next two games with Summit uh, in the uh, top lane. Um, I think I think that was more of a fluke. <clears throat> I think FPX has been better. Obviously, here you see their three-game winning streak. Um, I do think JDG. I did think really JDG was probably the best team, even over Victory Five, in my, in my opinion. Uh, before that matchup against FPX, I think they will bounce back. Um, LNG has been a solid team as well. Like I said, they've won two in a row, um, but they've been up and down throughout the summer split so far. Like I didn't think they were very good. Um, I still don't think they're that great um, compared to like other elite teams like JDG and Victory 5, just, just you know, based on my eye test. So I'm all over JDG today. Um, I think JDG is not getting enough credit here. I think they should be a bigger favorite just given how they played uh, so far in the split. I know they just lost to FPX, but I just feel like that was just like a letdown game for JDG where, um, you know, I don't think that's going to snowball uh, their losing streak or anything like that here um, after that loss. I do think um, FPX having Summit subbed in kind of threw a wrench into that game and JDG was not ready for that. Um, so I just feel like they're going to regroup themselves. Um, this is a big game. But then, like I said, LNG has not been that impressive. I mean, you see their match history here. Um, so far, they've played against BLG. They won two to one, um, and then AL Anyone's Legend. They beat them two to zero. And Thunder Talk, they even lost one game in that series, and then they lost to OMG. You know, one to two. Uh, I mean, let me see. I think there should be more matches. Maybe not. Well, either way, I just, I just, I, I remember watching LNG and I just feel like based on my eye test, JDG should dominate this matchup. Um, I do think LNG is a live dog. I mean, not only because of the odds, but I mean, LNG does definitely have the, has the roster to be able to pull this off. But I just feel like Light and Wandi has not been that impressive to me. Um, so I will go with Hope and Missing all day, every day, <laughs> advantage wise. And then Yagao, Doin B, I think they, that's kind of even matchup. I think Doin B has been a great mediocre, I mean, great uh, mid laner. Um, and Yagao has been okay. And Kanavi, Tarzan, Tarzan has been good, but Kanavi is Kanavi. I think he's the best jungler, in my opinion, in DLPL. And then 369 is a, probably one player that I'm a little worried about um, against Ale. But I just feel like overall JDG is a better team, has been a better team in my opinion. Um, so I'm gonna go with JDG. I have a, I'm gonna have a lot of JDG in my opinion um, in uh, my lineups, my lineup builds today. All right, and the LCK, like I said, this is the I'll I'll save this one for last because this is the top marquee matchup of the summer split, I think, in my opinion, for the for Korea. Kwangdong Freaks versus KT. Um, as you as mentioned on the last video, Keen, LM, and now Moham, their support jungler and the top laner are all playing remotely because they have tested positive for COVID. Um, that did not slow them down when beating uh, Fred at Brian 2-0, to zero, I think, um, a few days ago. But they did look a little bit shaky, and Fred at Brian has been really bad. Um, they frankly should have won that matchup. Um, so I do think uh, these three players playing remotely have had has had impact on their team play, where that's why I think I think KT should win this matchup uh, pretty pretty handedly I think. Uh, Rascal, Cuz, Vikla, Aiming in Life they've been playing really well lately. Um, I have to favor KT here today, and that's why they're the favorite I think, and I agree with that with those odds. So I'm gonna have to go with KT, but. The kill upside has been okay for these two teams. Um, I do think today LCK matchups are viable in, in terms of um, the kill upside. Uh, you know, Fred Brian's not playing. And um, I do think KDF KT here is probably going to be the lowest kill upside matchup between KDF and KT. I, th I do think Gen G and T1 will produce more kills in the amongst the Korean matchups. Um, so if I were to rate the kill upside, it'll be WEOMG, JDG, LNG, 
um, KDF, K, no, 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 Genji uh, T1, and then lastly, KDF and KT. So that uh, other LCK matchup, Genji and T1, yeah, I mean, everybody's thinking that Genji is going to win this time because they've been in such good form. They beat Dom1, they beat everybody, they're undefeated. T1 has dropped one game, but I still think T1 will win this matchup, uh, yeah, despite everybody, all the experts saying Genji's going to win. I think all the commentators um, and experts, so-called experts on the LCK broadcast have picked Genji. Like every single one of them has picked Genji. Um, nobody has picked Gen uh, T1 here today. And that's when T1 is at their best. Um, I've, you know, I've been a big fan of T1 and I've followed T1. Um, I just feel like T1 is prepared for this matchup. Um, I know they dropped that match uh, or series to Guangdong Freaks, I think it was. Um, but I know Peanut has been playing really well and Chovy has been playing really well. But I do think this bottom lane, Gumayushi and Karia, is going to be the, the big difference, in my opinion, because I just feel like Owner is going to do okay against Peanut. And I think that will neutralize himself. And Faker is so, so experienced, you know. I just feel like Zeus will be a difference maker over, over Doran. And then I think the bottom lane, Gumayushi and Karia, will be a big difference maker as well, especially given that they're now playing on the new patch where Caitlyn is buffed and Gumayushi's best character or champion is that. Um, I just feel like those buffs that have happened on this uh, patch will favor T1's players more, in my opinion, um, because also Viego... I think got nerfed. So I don't think as many players, uh, junglers are going to play Viego um, as much like Peanut. So I don't know if that's going to have a huge impact, but just one, you know, level of analysis um, why I think T1 will win. But Genji is definitely a, you know, viable team to stack. I mean, they're a favorite. I think Genji is going to be popular today uh, for some reason. Um, actually, I think ownership will be all spread out. I mean, I think OMG should be very popular given the odds. Most people look at the odds. I look at the odds, but not entirely, you know, not its entirety. Um, I do think JDG has a better chance to win here against LNG than OMG over WE, um, just given my eye test. But it may change after I look at the stats, but, you know, that's where I'm at. But so, yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting slate. Lots of viable dogs and teams. Um, it's a good GPP slate, I think. Um, but if you guys have any other questions, let me know. And Or if you want to chat League of Legends, DFS, just, just in general, have any, um, any other concerns or anything like that, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to, uh, you know, chat with you. And yeah, you can reach out to me at DFS Chan, um, YouTube, Discord, at TrueDFS. Uh, yeah, this video is sponsored by TrueDFS, so if you uh, please hit the like button uh, for the video, that would be great, so I can keep, you know, cranking out these videos for almost every slate, um, if I can, and yeah, if, if you will please hit the subscribe button, that'd be great too, if you want to watch videos about other sports, um, otherwise, uh, good luck out there, um, it's an interesting slate, like I said, for GPP, I think, um, but yeah, good luck out there, have a good one.